Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos that I'm doing about using uh, vectors in Unreal, and uh, is also designed as a primer in uh, in vectors and the use of vectors and some vector maths. Not that there's a lot of real number crunching maths here at all. Um, and to finish off this series, I want to do two shortish, hopefully, videos uh, on. Uh, on two things called the vector products. So um, if you've got numbers and uh, you want to know what the product of those two numbers is, actually in math terms that means um, multiplication. Uh, in vector terms, there are two things that are called products, neither of which are you can really think of as being a multiplication. But what they are is a way of combining two vectors to get a third thing out of them. These two products are called the dot product and the cross product. Um, and in this one, we're going to deal with the dot product, which is uh, signified in maths notation as a, a dot. So A dot B equals would give you the results here. Right, strap your uh, safety helmets on. Uh, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of actual maths here uh, and tell you that the the dot product of two vectors is equal to the length of the two vectors multiplied together and then multiplied the result of that multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them it's a little bit complicated it is there are really good reasons why it is what it is and uh, and and how it's used the the upshot of this is that we can use this in in several ways, but the most common way of using it in Unreal that I've come across is to find the angle between two vectors, which is exactly what we're going to use it for. Um, so let's uh, just explore the setup I've got here. I've got a third person template, and uh, I've got a few things that are kind of artifacts of earlier stuff that I've done. Been, these have been kicking around in my project. Uh, my project for quite a while, this kind of um, historical furniture stuff. And I've got a blueprint. And this blueprint is, if you've seen my other videos, somewhat familiar. But I have changed what I'm doing with the blueprint. So let's have a quick look. At, actually, let's play and show you what's going on here. So I've got this blueprint, which has got a pad and has got a small square box uh, attached to it. And the whole thing's rotating. And I am drawing two debug arrows which represent vectors. So one of those is the vector that is the forward vector of this uh, object that's rotating. And the other is a vector of the player. Uh, so as you can see as you run around now, you can't see the arrow for that vector because it's embedded inside the player. But uh, hopefully you can trust me enough to know that the arrow is, is at the player end of that. And as I jump up and down, the vector goes with me as well. <clears throat> so this could be some kind of rotating sentinel enemy kind of a rich thing um, you could think of it and it's got a line of sight so we're, we're gonna we're gonna do a line of sight calculation uh, which is that if the player is within 30 degrees which is about now to now uh, of that the direction that it's facing let's do it now to now that's about 30 degrees um it's gonna it's gonna know about the player. So what we want to do is we're going to uh, find the angle between these two vectors, and we're going to do that obviously in uh, using some blueprint stuff. So that the stuff that's going on already, just a very quick look at it. There's one of the debug lines, debug arrows. There's the other debug arrow, and here's the code that makes it rotate. Um, so what do I want? I want uh, I want those two vectors that I'm drawing. Um, actually, in order to find the angle, what I want is normalized versions. And remember, if you've seen the other videos, normalized means uh, being set to unit length. So if it's smaller than unit length, it's, it's uh, uh, stretched up. And if it's larger than unit length, which is more likely, it's shrunk down till its unit length, which is, in this case, one centimeter length. So we want the vector from the, um, from the pad to the player it's called the turret from the turret to the player. Uh, so uh, the vector from A to B is the absolute vector of B minus the absolute vector of A. So B in this case is the player. So let's do get player form and 
characters. Right, so location. And then we're gonna also get right, so location for uh the turret itself and we're gonna do minus. And as I said, we're gonna normalize that to make it the unit length. Normalize. Explain why in a second. And um the other one we want is that uh forward vector. I happen to have got nodes that get the forward vector over here because I needed that to draw that uh debug arrow. Uh so it's just gonna grab the box and get the forward vector from that. Now the forward vector is automatically no a normalized vector. Hopefully, so that's useful. So now if you remember, don't worry if you don't follow this and just um you know, just on the results of it, basically. But if you remember, the the dot product is <coughs> length of A times length of B times the cosine of the angle between the two. Um, and if the length of A is 1, and the length of B is 1, which is why I've normalised it, then the dot product is the cosine between the two of them. And so we know when we do the dot product of these two, we, we've got the cosine. Dot product. And I don't think it matters which way around we put them in. And then if I want to find out the actual angle, I've got the cosine, and I just do A cos, which is um, anti cosine. And I'll do it in degrees because we're used to working in degrees. Um, I'm going to get all of this stuff and just move it so that we can be a little bit out of the way. Uh, pull that down a bit, and I'm going to do a print string. <clears throat> so this is attached to way back here it's attached to uh event pick so this is going to happen every tick so we're going to have a constant output telling us what that um angle is let's give it a try and we can see it's coming down to zero and then it goes back up again when the furthest away it'll be 180 um and i'm going to press stand on the top here it's given me roughly 90. So what's happening is that it's not just horizontal lines. It's taking into account you know, all the full uh, extent of all three dimensions. If I move forwards, I can get it down to about 50 degrees. But if I drop on the floor, then that changes. It's coming down. It can see me. And that the nature of that angle doesn't make any difference if I move further away. It's just working out the angle between those two vectors. Right, what we're going to do is just turn this into a, um, a visibility cone by uh, saying if that angle is less than 30 degrees, and that will work for either side, then print out. So we're going to do less than, um, and we could do you know, any angle we wanted here. 30 or 45 are quite common for uh, visibility cones yeah, an actual human visibility cone is more like 90 degrees to either side generally um branch and so it should only tell us that angle when it's within 30 degrees no 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 yes no it stops there we go so if I keep running around, it's not seeing me. And if I really want to be permanently safe, I'll just stand on top of it. And it doesn't know I'm there because it's stupid. If you go back down, it can see me. It can't see me. So that is hopefully an explanation of what a dot product is and uh, the most, as far as I know, common practical use of dot products inside Unreal. And that's it from me for now.